going on guys? It's your boy Sisso here, bringing us a video here today, Bring us a video on how to create your own clean portfolio using Portfolio Box. So, yes, this video is sponsored by Portfolio Box, but I had no clue after my top three personal, like, uh, favorite sites to use for, like, portfolios. After that video, they, it, they decided to sponsor, and it was really cool, very humbling, very awesome, and I'm excited the fact that they actually chose me and stuff like that. So, yes, Portfolio Box, this is sponsored by Portfolio Box, but I do honestly believe that Portfolio Box is by far the best site when it comes to things like media design. Like, of course, you can use it for a lot of other things, but the community that I use it for is very special around using it for the media design just because of how very sleek, very just comforting, simplistic, and very inviting it is. Like, I, honestly, look at it. Like, it's so pretty. Is this not the prettiest layout ever? Honestly, in the font? Dude, I wish you guys to do all of this and stuff like that. So, in the description down below is a 10% off for the annual sort of code that you guys buy uh, annually, which I believe is like regularly $82, but I think 10% off is like uh, like 73% off or $73. So, it's really cool if you guys want to go ahead and do that. There is a link in the description down below for you guys to so go ahead and choose if you guys want to do that. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own portfolio box, sort of give you guys a little tips and kind of like a layout sort of schema, how to like work around with it and make your own really nice clean portfolio yourselves. And it's really cool because when you do actually purchase the annually or if you, if you purchase like if it's i think it's like 80 or nine dollars a month if you guys do it like sort of like that um but yeah you can also get yourself like a free domain or not a free domain of course you're paying the nine dollars a month but you get your own domain which is pretty awesome as well so i'm gonna teach you guys to do this stuff and i can't wait to freaking figure out what i'm gonna do <laughs> you know you know just one of those things okay <laughs> All right, guys, so I know a lot of you guys already made the switch to Portfolio Box due to my top three portfolio series. I know a lot of you guys did. I saw in the comments below, you guys were like, I had no clue about it. And I'm like, you know what the fuck? You know, it's one of those kind of things. So uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own Portfolio Box site uh, from like start to finish and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much making the same exact way that I had in the beginning that I showed you guys in the beginning. But there's one cool thing I want to do this video is in the comments or not in the comments section below, I would definitely advise you to tweet it out and tweet out at SSBHQ to me, of course, and just tweet me your portfolio box site. And I want to take at least five of them. Maybe you guys already made one previously or make, maybe you're making one in the making like right now. That, that, that came out weird. But if you're making a portfolio site and you choose portfolio box, uh, tweet me it and I'm going to take five of them and put them in the comments uh, comment section below. Probably make it the top comment so everyone who visits the actual thing will like sort of view it. I put you like your name and stuff like that, so it looks really cool. And then sort of get a little bit of exposure. So if you guys want to tweet it out, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and just take five of them. I'll do it in the first like I guess 24 hours. So sort of like you know if you're trying to make a portfolio, definitely do it fast. You want to do it if you're doing it on this video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this really quickly. So what's first of all, I would definitely advise you guys to. Uh, by the way, if you don't know how to get here, this little bottom right piece is here is how do you hide and sort of unhide things in this little right here. It's a preview. If you guys actually did the. Uh, there's a little thing that kind of lets you help you get started or something like that when you first sign up. But if you guys do not know, the first thing you probably want to do is change your settings here. So uh, once you click on this little thing on this bottom right, you want to go to your settings, which is located right here. And your title for your website is going to be what's coming up right here. This little thing, this little tab that people see is what you know you want to change. So if I just change this to Sesso HQ, this thing up here will change the Sesso HQ, uh, Sesso HQ, of course, after I save it and stuff like that. But the one thing I will also tell you guys is what's really cool is this is free is if you put if you go to site icon and select your file if you have a logo file of whatever the heck your logo is and like I guess in a very simple like avatar way I would say like 400 by 400 pixels to be safe or something like that and sort of like use that to make an actual site icon. That way, what's going to happen is you see this little site icon here. This will be exchanged to your actual logo design, which is really cool. Very awesome. And I very much advise you guys to do that. Probably the first thing you probably want to do. So, okay. So, I'm going to do it here. And, of course, the first thing you want to do is create your own page. Now, Portfolio Box has a, like, a, a lot of freaking choices. Now, when it comes to the gallery, which I will be doing in the second like in the second part of this video, uh, is the Even Rose is the one that I actually use for the demonstration. And it also is the free one. And it also is, in my opinion, by far the best looking one. So, you're lucked out there. So, definitely advise you guys to do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a, just in case you guys wanted to know, kind of know, if you guys ever wanted to make a studio or a, uh, I guess a design studio with your friends or something like that, Portfolio Box does have a template for your friends so you can have like, I don't know, you've probably already seen this already for like, I guess other studio sites, but you sort of have like a nice little picture of yourself, their name, what their like role is, maybe their advertising designer, 3D modeler, or whatever the hell they are, and then a little description of themselves. Very cool uh, template for that. I'm just, I'm just curious, just in case you guys wanted to know, but I'm gonna make a first kind of like landing page. So I'm gonna go with this right here. I'm gonna go with select with this. So what does this page call? Let's just call it Sesso because why not? And then we're gonna go ahead and just take the header, which is gonna be the main text, and I'm gonna put this Sesso HQ, and we're gonna make the size very big. If you guys wanna know what I mean by the main text is right here. So I'm gonna edit contents again, and we're gonna make the size very big. So the biggest it can be, so it looks something like this. Go back to edit content, and what I'm gonna go to do is change my font, is the one that I had uh, shown was, 
Which one? Aldrich. Yeah, this one for sure. All right, so if I just go here, this font is very, very freaking pretty. It's very clean. It's very snazzy. I definitely would advise you guys to use this one as well. Now, the one thing I'm not liking right now is the font, or excuse me, is the background. So I'm going to really quickly change that. And the way you do that is go to your colors and fonts, go to background, and you can pretty much choose an image or a solid color. I will be using a solid color, but I want to show you guys something really quickly. If you're going to use an image, if you go to standard, there's a whole bunch of premates for you guys to actually choose from. So you can choose like this really nice like noise background black, uh, whatever the heck kind of floats your boat. But there's a lot of ones that are like, like they look pretty good. But I do like the solid kind of color thing that is for me. And luckily you can do that. That's a white solid and this is a black solid with like a nice little noise on it. But the one that I want to use is color, color background. And you have a nice little color picker here where I'm just going to go ahead and just take my mouse and sort of like bring it to this blue. And bring it down here somewhere around here. I said the hex code 09090D. If you guys want the same as like black that I'm using, and I'm gonna go back to this edit this page, edit contents, change my color to a nice blue here. I think this looks pretty good. Let's go with that blue, close this down, and there we go. Sweet. So I'm gonna put something on the bottom of this, says like kind of what I am. So I'm gonna go to the second header here, and I'm gonna go to graphic designer. I could put YouTube graphic designer. I don't know. Gets the point across. But I'm going to close this down. So once you see this here, this will be the landing page. I'm going to quickly show you guys in full glory. But this will be the landing page. And this is what you, uh, what you guys saw in the beginning of the video. And then you saw that I clicked on top of this. However, it doesn't bring me to anything right now because I have no secondary page. But when I click on top of this, it's going to bring me to my actual portfolio, which I'm going to make right now. So bottom right, create a page, gallery, even rows, select. And we're going to go ahead and select and we're going to name this portfolio because that's what it is. And to add images is very easy. Upload images, select your images. You can add videos if you guys want to, but I already have all of my images in a portfolio box folder, which I, or excuse me, a portfolio folder for like later future sort of updates. I would advise you guys to do this as well. And I'm gonna click on the first one, hold shift click on the last one so I can select everything in between and press open. So the cool thing is once you do that, it's gonna upload your images. Very simple, very quick, very nice. You're gonna see in the background here, if I just close this down, you can see it's gonna start uploading them. You can see them sort of uploading while you're waiting if you guys wish to. But one thing I do very, very surely recommend is when you guys are doing uh, your images and you're saving them, make sure you have no template on them. Make sure you're using maybe the crop tool if you have like a YouTube uh, template that you're using the crop tool to actually crop things out. If you guys wanna know the shortcut, it is C on your keyboard in Photoshop and you sort of crop the actual template. That way when you save it, which the best sit, uh, save settings will be, uh, either file save for web or it's probably under like edit or something like that. I don't know, save for web or for the shortcut, I believe it's like control alt shift plus S and then save it under PNG 24 and that'll make sure you guys get the best save quality things possible and it'll look really freaking good. So now that all my stuff is uploaded, as you can see, all of them are uploaded. If you want to add a description, I'm not going to, but if you guys do that kind of stuff, go for it. But if I just really quickly show you guys in all its full glory, this is what it looks like right now. Very clean, very even. Uh, it's very, very, very hot. I do like it a lot. It, that's, well, that's I never use that word hot, but you know, that's kind of how I feel when I do this. Now wait for it. And since it is even rows, I'm going to go to display settings here. I'm going to change my image size to small and I'm going to change my image margins, which means this right here in between is a spacing that you kind of have here. So if I make this bigger, kind of get that look to it. If you want to get really creative, you can have a lot of fun doing this. But my favorite thing is having zero margin. So all the way to the left. Oh my God. Does that not look freaking beautiful? It's very simple, very easy. And it looks really freaking clean. And if you have your portfolio or excuse me, your, uh, your images for like social media and stuff like that, very clean, very seamless. Bro, you're missing. Look at that, honestly. Okay, so one thing I do want to do really quickly is change this. I'm going to layout. I'm going to go to menu layout. I'm going to put this on the left, just like so, right? And also, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to change the logo, which is right here, Ceso HQ. That's what that means. Change it to Ceso HQ. It says Ceso Ortiz, but it says Ceso HQ. Change my font to Aldrich as well. Looks really freaking good. Make this a nice blue. And just so we have the same blue, I'm going to copy this hex code. Press C on my keyboard to control it, or excuse me, to paste it or copy it, excuse me. And if I want to, let's make this like super far apart like that. And I'm gonna go to, uh, let's go to here again, colors and stuff. Let's go to menu. Let's go ahead and click on this and click Aldrich. That way these fonts change here as well. I'm gonna go to font color. Let's just keep it gray. But when you hover over it, let's make that blue and let's just copy and paste this same blue. So what I mean by that is when I click here, when you hover over it, it's going to be blue, which looks really good. And oh, before I actually forget, let's click on Ceso HQ or excuse me, the Ceso page again, the landing page. Let's go to this. Let's go to edit this page. Let's go to edit contents. Let's go to where it says link to page. 
click on portfolio now when i click on this you'll see when i click boom it brings me to my portfolio which looks really freaking good that's kind of how i want to have it so it looks really awesome i'm definitely down we're pretty much almost at this point uh what do i want to do really quickly i want to go ahead and maybe add social media let's go ahead and add social media let's go ahead and put in our twitter uh twitter.com slash social hq and if you guys want to know where this is getting located at it's located down here so if you wanted to, you want to change it to like a circle, which looks pretty good in my opinion. I will definitely say that. And also make your buttons a different color. Gray is very kind of sort of soft and it's sort of hard to see in the beginning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this blue. The same blue that I had for the actual Cisco HQ up here. That way when people see on the site, they automatically see this and they automatically see this very fast. They sort of see my Twitter. So if I click on it, it brings me to my Twitter. Very simple, very easy, very awesome. And I don't really want to put anything else in here. Pfft, yeah, screw that. Uh, yeah, we're done with that. So cool. And uh, let me just let me just flip, flip around a little bit. Let's just go back to here. Let's just create another page. Let's see what happens. Let's go for, uh, let's go with like I don't know, an about me section. I would definitely survive, like definitely tell you guys to use an about me section. Where is it? Is it under contact? Maybe it's under contact or text. Blog. Eh. I don't know. Resume. Cover. Social. What's under other? Oh, you can have a video. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, cool. So I'm going to definitely just, I'm going to say right now, I'm going to just end it here just because it sort of like gets the point across. Definitely shows you guys how to actually do this kind of thing. It's very simple, very clean. And one thing I will suggest you guys to do on your landing page is maybe make a really cool background. I would definitely suggest doing something around, I don't know, maybe you take your favorite picture, use like a 1920 by 1080p pixeled uh, document size, and then sort of take your picture and then maybe put like a black background or something like on it. I don't know, like a black background, then sort of put your picture on it, put on luminosity and load the opacity down to get a really nice kind of like scenery looking picture. I don't know, but I'm trying to give you guys ideas. Sort of get what I'm talking about. Or even make thumbnails of your actual portfolio or some images of your portfolio, plaster them around the actual page. And then when you actually go to edit this page, edit contents, or excuse me, display settings, select your background here and you can select the background. I'm just gonna show you guys for instance, like something like this, if I just did that, what I was talking about, pressed open and then I'm just gonna wait for it to load and there we go we have something like this this is very very shocking and very too like very a lot this is too much but I'm trying to give you guys the example of what can happen so when people get, get on your page they see a nice very black and white photo in the background it would look freaking awesome in my opinion I should have done that from the beginning however you kind of get the point that I'm actually trying to make so I do hope you guys enjoyed this video very much and just in case you guys wanted to know uh, where all your pages are located is right here so if you want to delete a page, all you got to do is click on this little checkbox and then press delete. It's going to ask you delete. This looks freaking super clean. This UI, by the way, delete page. Yes or no. I'm going to press X because I don't want to delete it. But if you guys did want to, that is how you do it. And I do hope you guys honestly pick portfolio box for your site. I said it before my favorite top three. I gave you guys my favorite top three portfolio box was one of them. And they are very awesome and kind enough to sponsor me in this video. And I want to show you guys how to make your own portfolio box site. Because honestly, like I said before, things, things like, uh, I guess the alternate like carbon made or something like that. They are just not, I honestly, I feel this way. And I know a lot of people that do as well. Their quality just not as good. And honestly, their presentation, something like this, or excuse me, I don't know why I just did that. Something like this. It just looks 10 times just more professional, clean, simplistic, to the point, seamless. It just, I don't know. I definitely have to say these things just because it's its true. It's what I honestly believe, and I think you guys will honestly enjoy Portfolio Box just as much as I do. Like I said before, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you guys wish to. And also, do not forget to tweet me at SysHQ, your Portfolio Box site. That way you get a chance to have it in the, maybe I'll even put it in the next video as well, just because, I don't know, to make it cool and whatnot. But I definitely want to take five of them, put them in the video uh, that you're watching right now, in the comment section or in the description, maybe the top description, so it's really cool. So inviting for people to actually check it out. And uh, yeah, hope you guys do enjoy. Hope you guys do pick Portfolio Box. Like I said, also in the description down below is the 10% annual code off. Like I said, I believe it's like $89 or 89 uh, annually, sort of like a year, which if you guys did not know, annual is a year. And I think you get like uh, maybe $8 off, which is 10%, right? And uh, get it for like 73 a year, which is pretty cool. Or you can just do $9 a month, get your own domain, get a lot of cool things, get a lot uh, more templates, stuff like that. So I'll talk to you guys later. Sysco HQ out. And thank you guys so freaking much for watching and enjoy. All right, so there was one more thing that I did want to mention, which was called Find Creatives, which is pretty cool. It's a very cool site. You can see it says find, discover, and hire creative talents near you. Now, the one thing that's really cool for this is sort of you can see people with any sort of design uh, background or sort of like design field that they're in. You can find out where, like relatively where they live around you and sort of like meet up with them. You can contact them, hire them. Maybe you want to make like a project and you need a certain person with it. It's very cool if you want to make like a nice little small design firm or something like that. 
I don't know how to like incredibly like explain it, but it's very cool. And it's a very cool experience and pretty much how it works is I'm gonna go ahead and just like let's go to say photographers and we want like uh let's just go for food photographers, right? And we're just gonna go ahead and just type in New York. And let's go ahead and just click on that. And so you can see all the photographers that of course have this fine creative site and sort of see where they are. You can view their profile and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And you can see they're relatively close, you know, where they are, you know, really, it's really awesome. So you can sort of, you know, contact them. They'll sort of like, you know, contact you back and you'd be like, hey, can you meet up and stuff like that? It's a very cool experience. And it's something that I would really advise you guys to check out as well. Very simple, very awesome. And you don't like, you don't need to do it, but I'm just saying it's a, it's a, it's a possibility that it's there. So if you're looking for people around you, this is definitely one of the sites to use. So uh, yeah. I will talk to you guys later. Sis HQ out. Peace. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive. Later.